Oh, you're getting big, dude. I like it. Going on size. Awesome. Alright guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to apologize up front for the uh, short little video, basic, very, very basic um, and simple DIY um, aquarium pond filter. Um, it's obviously not going to be the completed project. It's going to be a work in progress type of thing. But uh, due to the situation at hand, um, I think it will do for now for the next week or so if you're following me on Instagram uh, link in the description below then I posted um, a short little clip about a uh, red eared slider that yeah turtle not fish still aquatic still aquatic all right for all of those of you of you thinking hey there's a fish channel unfiltered aquarist aquarist aqua water it lives in water anyways all right, so last week, I uh, don't remember exactly the day, my brother, uh, younger brother, found like a full-grown red-eared slider. Just walking in the middle of the street. Poor guy uh, looked sunburnt, I believe, because his skin was peeling and kind of looked bad shape. So we kind of had to rush to do kind of this, this setup that I'm about to show you. Um, now bear in mind, I've got three red tail catfish, um, juvenile, still about four or five inches, and a 55 gallon for now. Um, was planning to move them to the 500 for a little bit, let them grow out in there, uh, and then eventually put them in above ground uh, pool pond. So I had the pool pond sitting in my garage, still in the box, brand new. So I threw that together. Threw that together, filled it with water. Thought to myself, I need something for circulation. Something to keep the water kind of moving. So I did have an extra pump laying around. Um, that, I'm not sure what the gallons. It's nothing major, nothing big. So today's DIY project is going to be uh, the first step in a pool pond filter. Let me show you what we're talking about here. Again, very basic, very simple, only a few components involved. So this is it right here. So we have this little plastic, I want to say it's 10 gallons maybe, at most, which we only have it filled maybe a fifth of the way up. Um, we threw in a couple bricks in there just to get the polyfill raised out of the water so it's not just sitting there submerged we have a water line running all the way to the little pump sitting in there um, also we threw together this little rock concrete thing sitting on brakes just something for him to kind of climb out on and dry it so. so again just a little project we're going to continue to build on this add a little more filtration in it maybe up the, the flow rate of that as you can see it's not really gushing out and eventually eventually we want to put the red tails in here so we're going to have to complete this project at some point so just a quick overview we've got a little laundry basket from the dollar store filled with polyfill probably a lot more than what we need the water line running in there going through the polyfill just doing a basic filtering out some kind of gunk you see it's been it is cleaning out something maybe not as much as we want but something what we have is a little plastic tote bin that we had laying around what we did we drill a two inch hole well a little bigger than two inch hole to fit a two inch bulkhead 
Uh, another thing I just had laying around after building the 500 gallon, you kind of have some spare parts. So we threw that together, put it up on a little stand. Little stand that I had also, doesn't have to be too sturdy. Um, so like I said, just a short little clip. Sorry again, it's Easter weekend. Didn't really have much time to throw something together. I do have a couple projects um, that are in the works, uh, not done yet, uh, filming and all that. So those should be coming out, but we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated and uh, definitely thanks for watching. If you're not already subscribed and you want to see more future content and you like what you see, then I appreciate it. Subscribe, click that notification bell to keep updated with all the content coming. And like. Don't forget to like. Thank you very much. See you until next time.